April 3rd today. We're going to be in uh, the book of Ruth. Um, and um, today we're, ta- we're tackling the whole um, book of Ruth, not just a, a couple uh, chapters. Um, we've been uh, go- walking through the book of Ruth at, uh, at uh, Bloomingdale Friends here for the last uh, few weeks. And, and uh, it, it's such a deep, deep scripture as far as an example of uh, um, humanity and also um, God's redeeming grace. And, and, and as we walk through it, um, you know, it just, it just reminds me of, of, of how, you know, myself, I've, I've, I've fallen away from, um, you know, the path that God has for me uh, a few times in my life. And, and, um, and, 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 and it seems like no matter, you know, what I, what I choose, you know, since I, since I, uh, I kind of went through that valley of, uh, decision-making, uh, to, um, you know, bring Jesus Christ into my life and, and accept as, as, as my savior. Um, he uses that even, the, even, the, even the, the, the mess ups that I have and, and, um, you know, gets me back on path for, for, uh, for his sake. And, uh, we see, we see, you know, the, the story starting out with Limelech and, and, and Ruth and, and, or, and Naomi and, and, and the two boys, uh, and the boys, uh, at some point, you know, marry, um, you know, Ruth and, and Moan and, and, and the boys' names were, were sick and dying in, in, the, in the Greek, um, uh, translation of what their names meant. And, and, um, and, and that was kind of a foretold thing because, uh, they ended up dying and, and Elimelech ended up dying. So, um, but it wasn't until after they, they left Bethlehem and went to, uh, Moab, um, to, to, to find a better, better place to, uh, have a, um, you know, there was no food going on in, in Bethlehem. They couldn't, they couldn't find any wheat, no, and anything, which is kind of ironic because the name, uh, for Bethlehem is, is the town of bread. Um, and there was no bread in the town of bread. Um, but, um, you know, they, they went off to Moab, which, um, God had warned them to stay away from, uh, the Moabites and, and not be around them. But, um, Elimelech, you know, even though he was a, a godly man, he decided, you know, he, he needed to, he needed to take care of his family. And, and he saw that was going to be the best, um, best route for him to do that. So they went there. And, and like I said, he, uh, he, uh, he ends up passing away. The boys pass away. And then uh, Naomi, later on in the story, they, they hear that uh, Bethlehem is, is, is uh, building back up again and, 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 and getting food, and, and they decide they're going to go back home. And, and then she leaves with the, 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 the two daughter-in-laws, and, and um, you know, they get a, a ways down the road, and, and she tells the girls, you know, you better go back to your, your hometown. Um, and I think she waited to do that because she didn't want to... Um, you know, I can I can just imagine, you know, the conversation what that would have it would look like, you know, if she would have tried to talk him not to not to uh, to go with him. And anyways, uh, Moan she she decided she was going to go back to her people. Um, and again, the, the the Moabites were worshiping different gods. They were going to they were going to um, do different things. And Naomi said that, you know, go back to your people and your gods. And in in Ruth. Um, I believe this was kind of her valley of decision making at that point because she said no. She says, well, "Where you dwell, I'm going to dwell. Your people are my people, and your God is going to be my God." In other words, you know, I've I've watched you, I've seen you. Even though we're going through some hard times right now, um, I'm going to make this God of my uh, of yours mine. And she does, and and we see the story unfold as far as um, you know how God takes care of that, and 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 she hooks up with Boaz, who is a, a relative. Um, a kinsman redeemer um, is, is what scripture calls him and and that comes from the book of deuteronomy in in uh, in, in, in you know a few, a few books before ruth um, but um, the the brother the relative if if um, uh, one of your relatives dies and, and and the wife does not have a son yet you're to take her as your wife and and uh, provide a son under his name uh, to carry it on and in and, and, and Ruth, again, she basically made herself uh, a part of Naomi's life and said, you're, you're, again, your people are my people. So I'm basically your family now. And, um, and we see Boaz, again, uh, the name for him was a kinsman redeemer. And to me, it's no different than Jesus is, is our redeemer. Um, you know, the example that he shows of, of, of grace and mercy and 
I'm gonna I'm gonna take this this gallon and I'm gonna I'm gonna redeem her. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, you know buy buy the land that that uh, her Elimelech had owned at one point, and I'm gonna get things back in order. And she, he ends up giving her a son, and and obviously that uh, that son ended up being the the great uh, great father in law or great grandfather of uh, of Jesus. Um, you know, a great, great, great grandfather, but uh, nonetheless, uh, you know, it was a line of David and then, and then Jesus. So, um, and, and that to me was God saying, you know what, even though you made some bad decisions, um, you know, for, for Elimelech and, 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 and Naomi, um, but uh, something great out of it came because they were able to reach this young girl from, from Moab and change her life for eternity. Um, and that's what Jesus is, is, can do for us and does for us. If we go through that valley of decision making and say, you know what, you are my God, and where where you dwell, I'm going to dwell, and um, your people are going to be my people. So, um, just some great texts in here, and there's so much more involved with it. Uh, I encourage you to uh, sit down and really read through the Book of Ruth. Don't rush through it. Uh, look at all the elements and and aspects that are involved here. Just a great great little book in the, in the Bible. Uh, during the the time of the judges, uh, and um, um, you know, it's just a, a one day thing that we're going to be in, in in this book. Uh, so again, with some time, um, uh, please uh, take that time and and study it. Um, I look forward to our Easter week coming up. We start this Sunday with Palm Sunday, um, so I ask you to join us on uh, Facebook Live at ten thirty, and and uh, and then and then. And then next week, uh, we're going to do a Monday, Thursday service at, at, uh, on, on Thursday uh, at 7 o'clock, which is the night that uh, uh, we're going to recognize it when Jesus um, uh, was in the upper room and, and um, he, he, he basically told, told them, um, you know, what was going to happen at that point. And, and he distributed the, um, um, the, the Lord's Supper to them. And then uh, on Friday, we're going to do Good Friday service at 7 o'clock. Uh, 7 p.m. On, on Good Friday, and and then Sunday um, sunrise service we're going to do at 7 a.m. Uh, and then our regular service at 10:30. And again, we're, all these services are going to be only on on Facebook Live. We're just going to have a couple people here uh, leading worship and doing a few different things. So um, stay home, be safe, be blessed, and I will see you in the morning.